Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Alinga Sise of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so so grateful. And for those who are still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video, comment in the comment section down below, and I will be so grateful. Today we are going to mix our herbal remedies and give to the birds. We are going to mix the papaya leaves. Some of you call it papaya purpose leaves and we shall also mix the aloe vera we are going to blend these two together and give to the birds uh, most of you have been asking me that uh, can we mix these herbal remedies and give to the birds yes that is why i've also now started showing you how, showing you how you can mix these herbal remedies and give to the birds i've also realized uh, most of you are still suffering from these chicken diseases now like this morning i received a uh, a uh, comment in the comment section uh someone's birds are suffering a lot from coccidiosis and uh, she wants me to at least explain to her how she can prevent this coccidiosis from happening in their farms that's when i've realized that most of you really don't go back and watch the old videos we really have a lot in the old videos so please always try to watch the old videos we have a lot of lessons there now like for the aloe vera and the the papaya leaves we have talked about it a lot in this channel the benefits how it boosts in the chicken immunity how it helps in curing coccidiosis like with the with the aloe vera it helps in uh, curing the chicken's intestine problems you know all the benefits we have talked about it and then i've also realized that uh, some of you Actually, most of you are suffering from the eggshells issues. The, egg, the shells of your eggs are really very, very soft. But honestly, all these herbal remedies we are using in this channel help to, to, to cure the issue of uh, the eggshells. The eggshells will always be strong if you are consistent in using these herbal remedies. The bats will always lay big eggs. The bats will always lay yellow yolk eggs. Now, like with the papaya leaves, it help your bird to lay yellow yolk eggs and double yolk eggs. That is why yesterday we collected our eggs very late. We did not get any damage because Alinga here is so consistent in using this herbal remedies. So that is why I really want us to embrace the use of these herbal remedies. And when you've decided you're going to use the herbal remedies, please, I want you to use specifically these herbal remedies. That is when you realize what is helping you in your in your farms because someone was asking me in fact not only one person that can we use this herbal remedies plus also the the modern medicine well i say it is okay it is upon you use the two but honestly you will not be able to realize what has helped you in your farm and uh, most of you also are telling me they have used this modern medicine and the birds are not improving but when i give you the remedies to use at least you've got a very big change and i want to thank everyone out there who who are already using this herbal remedies please give us the feedback in the comment section so that you at least motivate others and encourage others uh, to use this herbal remedies because some of you really want to like like want to hear also from other viewers whether these herbal remedies are working for them so for today we are going to mix these two herbal remedies and we shall give to the birds we are going to even uh, check our performance because like as a farmer we always have to collect our eggs so for today stay tuned till the end but if you're still new please consider subscribing to the youtube channel click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload share this video comment in the comment section down below and i'll be so grateful see you right back let us get our papaya leaves and we go and give to the birds but i have a problem with this tree because you see this is where our local birds are if you can see our local birds are there and they are really multiplying a lot they are now becoming so many actually we have over 150 local birds currently in this farm can you imagine guys by december we shall really have so many local birds eh? can see our turkeys have grown oh my god hey they are really looking so so good so uh they are really busy digging out the roots of our of our papaya tree and i don't know really what i can do about this because it is going to destroy our our tree eh? so let us first get some of the leaves shall get few from here even these local birds really want the the, the tree you can see they are just waiting for it eh? can see the turkeys are busy eating I think I'll give them this, then I'll just get a... Let me give them this one. 
Wow. Let them enjoy that. Let me get others. Shall not get all. Let me go to another tree because I have two, two trees of purple here. I also have this one. I'll come back and shape that. Come back and shape all this. So, just go and prepare this. Wow, the local birds are enjoying the, those other ones I gave them. Guys, our local birds are really also increasing in numbers. So we are going to mix with this aloe vera, okay? So let us first wash our things. Let's also wash our aloe vera. Cut like this. I'm going to leave this out. So today we are going to blend these two and we shall give in the drinking water. Uh, when you have enough of the papaya leaves, you can even just chop it and give it, uh, mix, put in their feeders and they just eat like that. But since I don't have enough, I will blend it and mix in their drinking water. In that way, I'm really sure that all the birds are going to drink this water. And then also for some of you who are just starting on these herbal remedies, sometimes your birds might refuse to drink that water because it might not taste good for them since it is something new. So the only solution is give them the feeds without any drinking water. Withdraw the drinking water for like 30 minutes or one hour. And then after that, when you really see the birds are very thirsty, that is when you're going to introduce your herbal remedy and trust me, those birds are going to drink the water. That is the only way you're going to introduce those birds to these herbal remedies. And then also, I want us really to be so consistent while giving these birds these herbal remedies. For those who want to mix in their feeds, you're going to dry this 
but it's normally advised to dry it under the shade just like you can see i've been drying my my guava leaves okay i'm going i've dried my guava leaves and i'm going to grind it and mix in their feeds so whenever you're going to dry this do not dry it under the sunlight dry it under the shade and then after that you will grind it and mix in their feeds and in a 100 kilograms of feeds you can mix 10 kilograms of the papaya leaves or the purple leaves so let us come and uh, chop and we blend this and we give in there drinking water even the stems eh? you can even uh, blend the stems and uh, mix in the drinking water but i'm fearing to blend it with my small blender here i'm fearing that it might uh, destroy my blender that's why you see i've put i've cut it off shall not blend all at once shall keep on blending bit by bit guys you can get a chopping board and use it for chopping this so let us go blend this we shall blend bit by bit because i don't want to over pile my blender you know we have a small blend you know why i like mixing it in the drinking water because at least all the birds will get to drink the water but if you take and just put like the way we put our skuma wiki yesterday hmm? okay since it was enough at least all the birds got to eat on it And then you're supposed to, like now this herbal remedy, I'm going to give these birds for three consecutive days, okay? That is how you're going to see good results. That is for the birds that are not sick. But if the birds are sick, you're going to give them for seven consecutive days. But if you're just using, giving them to prevent them from getting sick, you give them for three consecutive days in a week. So, like uh, yesterday we gave the kale or the skuma wiki, Remember, we didn't mix in the drinking water, but in their drinking water, I was already mixing their garlic and uh, ginger, okay? And I gave them, that one I gave them for at least five consecutive days. So after this, I will give them plain water for some time. Then again, give them another herbal remedy. Guys, we have a TikTok page called Alinga Sisi. I've realized there is another page called Treasure Local Poultry. Uh, they are using all my videos on TikTok. But uh, please, you, they are, I've seen also they are advertising that they can supply you day-old chicks. They can supply you eggs. But please, if you're going there to order for day-old chicks, just know it is not me who is there they are just using my videos i even don't know them so i don't know whether they are scammers or they are real people or they are true uh if there are people who are who are not thieves eh? but the truth is all the videos they are using are my videos so if you go there to get the mid the to, to order for their old chicks me i do not know those people do not go there because you know alinga sisi and you're going there to order for their old chicks i do not know them the only TikTok page that I have is called Alinga CC. So please do not be scammed out there. I do not know those people. So if you get your chicks from them and the chicks are not okay, please. Me, I do not know them. So with the, with the aloe vera, I normally chop the whole thing like this. And just blend it together. And give them. Okay, some people prefer using the gel. Some people prefer using this gel, eh? this inner gel, here, here, 
okay? Some people prefer using this inner gel alone, but me, I do chop the whole thing like this. Okay? All thing like this. I only use the gel when I'm going to put it in my face. Because I also use this aloe vera in my face. You know, Alinga Sisi uses all these herbal things even on herself. So when I'm going to put it in my face, that is when I just do like this and get the gel. Or when I'm going to use it in my daughter's hair. Eh? But for the chicken, I cut the whole thing. Then also, I remember last time, one of my daughters, she's called Angel, she had a lot of stomach pain for like close to three years. Like I could go to different doctors, they could not find any solution. And I decided to remove this gel, this one. So I just removed like this. Can you imagine? And gave her to eat all this. Up to today, she has never complained of the stomach ache. I gave her for three consecutive days. I was just removing the gel like this. Guys, I'm also giving you now some tips, eh? of human health i just removed the gel like this and gave angel to swallow them eh? i actually removed many i kept on giving her to swallow to swallow for three consecutive days up to today angel has never complained of stomach ache so this aloe vera is really very good even to human beings eh? but if for the chicken i normally blend the whole thing like this i blend it all so let us go and blend this one let me first put water Then we shall also come and blend with others. Cool, eh? No, I don't want to overpile our blender. So this is our juice. Try it. Guys, I'm not going to show you everything. How we are going to blend everything. Eh? Wow. So let us also put these ones. Let us also mix, put these ones. Okay, I'll put little, little. I'm not going to show you everything. Okay, let me also go and blend this. So guys, this is the last one we have blended. I blended like four rounds. Eh? This is the last one. So eh, this one didn't blend. This one we shall just give them to take it. So this is the last. Wow. So this is our juice. So we are now going to give this to the birds. Now some people prefer blending it, especially those ones who are having cages. But for me here, I do not have cages. So I normally remove the drinkers and, and wash it manually. So I will not like uh, sieve it. But you can also sieve it. Someone told me in the comment section that they normally sieve it and dry it and mix in the feeds. But if you're sieving it, me like if I'm to sieve it, I'll just sieve and take it like the, the residue. I'll just put in a bowl and just take it to the farm. But right now we are not going to sieve it. Actually, I normally do not sieve it. Actually, the blender has really helped us a lot because it blends it to the finest. Eh? That is the beauty of using this blender so if you have electricity where you are you can you can even blend it like me so i'm just going to put one cup in 10 liters of water actually let me tell you you can give this buds depending on the condition now this one we are just preventing the any kind of disease to from coming but if the buds are sick you can even put one and a half cups eh? so this is how i'm going to put it can see and I'm also going to give it to the local birds you have to always have many drinkers eh? this 
cover this. We put it in all the drinkers that we have. And I told you I'm going to give them for three consecutive days. For some of you who are not yet believing this herbal remedies, guys, I really don't know what I can, how I can convince you to use this herbal remedies. Because honestly, I do not use any medicine outside this. This is how I erase. These drinkers, these ones are now old. Eh? They cannot stand on their own. Shall add more later. It is even almost time for adding them feeds. Eh? And can you imagine I've not yet collected eggs? And I'm not worried or scared because I'm sure my eggshells are really strong. Now they are enjoying their water, but it is now almost time for adding their feeds. That's why you see the drinkers, the feeders are really very empty. You can see. My birds are really feeding so, so well. Eh? So it's time for adding feeds. While my colleague is bringing feeds, we are going to collect the eggs. collect the eggs here inside your laying box should be really dark eh?
You can't imagine only one compartment. I've gotten like two trays, two and, and some eggs actually. So, if we check the next one. Wow, the next one also has so many eggs. The bats are now feeding, that is why you're hearing too much noise, eh? They are already feeding. So we are not going to collect all the eggs. I think we have collected these eggs before. So that is our performance. i just show you. This is just to motivate you out there. Other eggs are still down. The other side. And our birds are already feeding. Can you see? Are already feeding. Wow. Feeding aggressively, eh? Wow. So our birds are really feeding so happily, eh? So for today, that is all I had for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for always coming back and watching my videos. Remember our TikTok page is Alinga Sise. No treasure local poultry. And if you're going to treasure local poultry to order for chicks or birds from there, please do not go there with my name. I really do not know them. They are using my videos, but I do not know them. So I don't want you to fall a victim, okay? I don't know whether they are scammers. I really don't know. So please, 
they are advertising with my videos but that is not me i want you to be aware of that thank you so much for watching thank you so much for always coming back thank you so much for loving me and if you're still new please consider subscribing to my youtube channel click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload share this video comment in the comment section down below and i will be so grateful see you next time i love you all bye bye